Hello, my friends. Welcome to my home studio in the beautiful Catskill Mountains in upstate New York. I'm John Morrell, and I am here on Instagram talking about a new fragrance from Zaharoff, the world of Zaharoff, and Justin Copeland or Stay Fresh Productions. So, uh, I'm going to talk about Second Soul. I should have wiped this down. There's a mirror, the magnet. It's a great presentation, but the magnet and all that, right? But, uh, and it does come with a cloth to wipe down the, ma the mirror, which is great. Actually, I should have done that before I did this, I guess. But anyway, so here is the presentation, okay? Uh, it is gorgeous. It's gorgeous, but where the magic happens is in the juice, <laughs> where it happens. Uh, now, for those of you who follow me, you know I loved... Uh, Zaharoff and Justin Copeland's first fragrance together, which is Brass and Soul. Love that fragrance so much I got to back up uh, from someone else that had bought it. Uh, so I really did like that fragrance. Loved it, actually. This fragrance uh, is definitely, it definitely smells like a flanker. There's some similarities in the fragrance. However, I actually like this one better. You know, just spoiler alert. I, I actually like this one better. And there's a couple of reasons. So this fragrance brought me somewhere uh, unexpected, actually. So I, I, you know, I had this on, and it's. Let me just say it's it's loud at first, right? When you spray this on, you can fill a room. So be aware of that. If you, you know, I I I I did three sprays and it was really loud. I sprayed it on my wife. Came up about five minutes later and said that is a very very loud fragrance. But uh, and, and by the way, I enjoy that. I like loud fragrances. But about twenty minutes in. Settles down a little, projects uh, still, I, I would say, five feet, maybe. Uh, maybe. I mean, you will, people, you will get noticed. P I, I get lots of compliments on this fragrance. I've been wearing quite a bit, and I've, tr I've worn it everywhere just to kind of get a feeling for how it performs. So I've worn it to the gym. Uh, a little too much for the gym, to be completely honest. I like something a little more intimate for the gym, but I, I wear it to the gym. It performed great. I, you know, I, I it broke, obviously, I, I break a really good sweat at the gym. And it's, it was still on. I showered and it was, that's how I got it off and I had to scrub it off. Uh, but then I put it back on anyway. Uh, so, so uh, because I've been wearing it quite a bit. Wore it out in the cold. Performed really well out in the cold. So that's great. Longevity is fantastic on this. I would say I get <clears throat> about eight to 10 hours on this, which is great because it is somewhat of a fresh fragrance. Okay, uh, it starts off with bergamot, uh, juniper, uh, rum on the rocks, cardamom, nutmeg, heart notes or jasmine, geranium, tobacco, clary sage, myrrh, uh, bottom notes, patchouli, suede, moss, smoke, cedarwood, vetiver, and labdanum. Now, I, I, let me just say, this is where this, I mentioned that this fragrance took me somewhere, and it did, unexpected. About 20 minutes into the fragrance, all of a sudden, I was like, it transported me to a time in my life I had almost forgotten about. I've been a huge hip hop aficionado into hip hop since uh, early to mid eighties. You know, I was a break dancer. I rapped at one point. I, I was just, I've always been into hip hop, always been into the culture, streetwear. I've uh, been, you know, I've always been into fashion, but streetwear in particular, what, um, I've really always been into. And in the late eighties, early nineties, uh, a kind of mega group, if you want to call it that, came together in hip hop called Native Tongues, which was De La Soul, Tribe Called Quest, uh, Jungle Brothers, and, uh, and then uh, also Queen Latifah. I think Moni Love was was also a part of that. And, and around that time, SUNY Albany, State University of New York in Albany, they would have these parties, th these, these big hip hop parties with DJs, smoke machines, everything. And this fragrance all of a sudden just transported me there. I almost forgot about that time when I used to go to these parties. And it was like a really positive time in hip hop. And, uh, you know, it was uh, more fun and love and, and all that. And, and uh, I couldn't figure out why. Like, I'm looking at the notes and I'm thinking maybe it was, be, you know, because it, it, it's really a combination. This fragrance to me was almost a combination of all the smells I would get at those hip hop parties. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, like the the... The smoke machine, uh, the you know the smoke machine, you know when the smoke machine has this kind of interesting smell, but also the Tech Twelves, you know the turntables, 
had this interesting smell, plus a little bit of the tobacco because people were always kind of hiding and smoking and uh, because it was at the college, at <laughs> the university. And plus the the um, the myrrh, you know, so so kind of the incensey sort of feel. This fragrance just transported me there. And so when I say that, I feel like this is like if I was to own a streetwear fashion shop, this would be a fragrance I push on everybody. To me, and, and then listen, I don't know Justin personally, really at all. Uh, you know, I watch his videos and, and that. Um, I have no idea if Justin's into hip hop music. I know he's a musician, uh, but I have no idea if he's into hip hop. I don't think that obviously his intention was to do that, but I believe this is a very diverse fragrance. It could be worn all seasons, day, night. Uh, I just love this. This, if, if I didn't have over 400 fragrances, this could be my signature scent for sure. Uh, but I love this, and if I had a, like, I, like I said, if I had a streetwear fashion shop, I'd be pushing this fragrance. I think that's this fragrance fits into a hip sort of uh, streetwear. It just smells. I don't know why, but this just reminds me of streetwear culture, hip hop culture. It's just. It's just amazing. It's an amazing fragrance, and uh, I, I don't. I can't even put my finger on why it reminds me so much of that time, the native tongues time, but it does. And this is something that I'm gonna. It's gonna get a lot of use for me. Uh, who do I see wearing it? I think anyone can wear it. I think any age. Although I did say, you know, it's, it's hip. It's but listen, I, you know, I think it leans more masculine. I do think that, but I think it, these days anyone can wear anything. We know this, and so. Um, I don't get it's blended really well, so no notes jump out at me. That's what's so interesting about this, is I, I wouldn't say, oh, I get a ton of this, the booziness, the tobacco, the the bergamot, the juniper, which adds some booziness as well, cardamom, nutmeg. I mean, this is just a very very well put together fragrance. Um, I think this went uh, goes a little further than his, the initial fragrance that uh, they put together, uh, brass and soul. I think uh, second soul. Goes a little further. I think it's it's the more grown up, and when I say that, I just mean it's it's um, the evolution of the fragrance. Like so, I do think this is a flanker to me, but it's better. Actually, I feel like it's a lot better, and I love the other one uh, because it because of maybe the myrrh and the. I don't believe there was tobacco in the last one. Uh, there's just more. There's a few more dark notes in this that really just the composition of this is just stunning. It, it's really spectacular. So that's where I see this, and I do believe this is kind of, kind of uh, leans towards a streetwear sort of fragrance. Uh, and that's my opinion, of course. I, other people are going to say different things. And so I love it. And, and so that's my take on Second Soul uh, by Zaharoff and Stay Fresh Productions, Justin Copeland. I think this is a banger, and I think you guys hit it out of the park. I, I, want, I want to thank you very much for creating this because I'm, it's going to be a lot of wears. I'm tempted. You know, this comes in a, a four-ounce uh, bottle, so it's quite a bit. And I've been tempted to get a backup, but uh, I just have so many fragrances. But I could go through this. I know I could because I could wear this every day. Uh, it, it, this retails right now at $160. Uh, $160 for four-ounce. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. This is uh, it has... So uh, this has designer sensibilities, but niche quality, right? This comes in, I believe, at 24% uh, oil concentration. It's a 24% par from extrate. So uh, it is 100% worth the money because it lasts all day. And I know performance is important to some people, I, and, and, and somewhat to me, I guess, at a certain price point. But for me, I like the, the smell so much, the fragrance so much to this. To me, the, the performance wouldn't matter to me. I mean, I just, this, this is fantastic. But to me, the magic happens after about 20 minutes. I do like the loud opening. I love it. But the loud, actually, the opening is is the most similar to Brass and Soul to me. Uh, after about 20 minutes, it, it veers off and does its own thing. And it's just absolutely amazing. So that's my feelings on Second Soul. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. And we out.